I'm struggling. So with our seed in, next we get to install our harness bar for our harnesses. This is Energy Innovations. They make really good quality stuff. Not sponsored. But we got a good harness bar here. Um, because we're not running a roll cage yet, I do plan to do that in the future. Just because safety is important. Safety is always a must. That's why we're doing this. So they make this custom bar here. And these will bolt up from that side and this side. A lot of people seem to get confused and way overthink this. It's like, it's going to be made the same way they're all made. There's a bolt here and a bolt over there we need to get out. Alright, so that's basically the basic way to do this. However, this is not going like back like it's supposed to. It's because of this trim here. And I wanted to keep this trim. I thought maybe I could just, you know, push it back enough to uh, allow it to sneak in. But that looks like that's not going to be the case. So what we have to do is basically break uh, all this trim off. Really wanted to keep that trim nice. Alright, so it's been a few days since I worked in the car, and now it's time to mount our support and adjustment rods. Uh, these, they, the way we're going to install this rod is there's a mount up here, and then we also have to mount to our original seatbelt holder. For our bottom seatbelt mount down here, I went and had to pick up these very specific bolts. Um, these are in English. They are... 7 16th by 20 because these have to be longer because in the original seatbelt they've got a little space in there so we're going to go ahead and take this out first which is relatively simple all right so then we get this uh thick washer wide slim washer the basic washer the seat belt and a flange washer thing. And this is our bolt. You can see here where the gap is, right in there. So that's what we're getting, uh, that's why we need the new bolt. We have our new bolt here. I've got a washer on it already. And then we're gonna take our rod here. Now on this rod, there's two sides. There's a skinny hole on here, and then there's a wide hole. We're gonna be using the wide side. So here's the way I'm gonna do this side. I'm going to do 
I'm gonna do a washer, the seatbelt, another washer, this thick washer on top of that, and then through our harness bar support. And when you do this, when, when you finally uh, get this all installed to how you want it, um, be sure to put some blue thread locker on so this does not come out. So this, this is so tight right now, I'm not able to manually move this, so I'm actually using the other side to kind of adjust the height of this side. I'm going to use this uh, bolt that just came with a kit um, to fit the diameter of the holes in here. You want it to be snug, you don't want this to be able to, you know, flop around with the bolt in there. So I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a bolt, a washer, this goes through, put a washer on the other side, thread locker, and then a simple bolt. You also use a lock uh, washer on in between the washer and the nut to kind of help. But it's really your preference um, and what is uh, what the what the bolt is rated for its safety. All right, once you've applied blue thread locker on all your mounts and everything's solid, make sure to torque this down and torque down here. This is just a the dugga. I should make that a thing. Hashtag a the dugga. Ready to put our seat back? And then there's one final thing we have to do before this car is ready for any racing. Huh. Forgot this was in here. Stay tuned for a future episode where we install this guy. <laughs>